Dave. Yeah. Chester. Chester Cherry Redbottom. We used to work at that drugstore together. Jeez, I worked at a drugstore in middle school. <laughs> right! Man, we used to stock shelves. Chester. Yeah, you used to have the ants in your car, right? Still got them, baby. <laughs> what, what's up, man? How are you doing? Doing fantastic. Still working at the store there. Yeah. Made employee of the month. Foo yeah. But I got a couple of business ideas. I'm trying to get them off the ground. Just need a little marketing. I, I, I work in marketing. Whoa! Show business! That's fantastic! Hey, do you think you could put me in your schedule this evening? I swing by and uh, bounce a couple ideas off you? Uh, yeah, let me just check my, my calendar. You know what, I think I can squeeze you in. How about you come to our office around 6 o'clock? Oh, sweet. 6 p.m., dude, I will be there at 547, because I'm always early. <laughs> yeah, it's good seeing you, business. Gentlemen, I have one very important question to ask you. Now take your time before you answer. What is the one single most important issue plaguing U.S. citizens, citizens of Nepal, citizens of the whole world? Safety. Wrong. Dead wrong. It's restaurant quality egg drop soup at home. It blows away all demographics. Everybody loves it, everybody wants it. But not everybody can find restaurant quality at home. Until now. This guy's crazy. It is crazy. It's crazy how good the soup pyramid works. Step one, boil some delicious Manchu. Step two, place the soup pyramid in the center of the bowl amongst the noodles. Step three, pour your eggs over the soup pyramid. Step four, there is no step four. Why? Because you're ready to have some delicious restaurant quality egg drop soup at home. Never done before until now. Now Chester, why couldn't you just drop the egg over the back of a spoon? Would that not have the same effect as the pyramid? Okay Copernicus, I see your point. Now not all of my ideas are stuck in the soup pyramid basket. I do have other ideas. Such as? Truck nuts. Do you mean those synthetic testicles that hang on the back of trucks and SUVs? It's a billion dollar industry. Exactly. Last year I was backpacking through Mississippi and, well, a spider crawled deep into my urethra and planted eggs into my penis. I was in the hospital. When I woke up, I had one thing on my mind. Tits. Car tits. Gentlemen, truck notes have had their stay. 52% of the cars out there are driven by women. We're ignoring a huge untapped market here. The car tits go on the front of the car. Lifelike nipples graze the road. Soft, versatile. Right, and we don't use silicone because that might rust the bumper. And sailing, that'll mess with aerodynamics. We use a supple yet durable polymer. 16 months from now, car tits could be a household name. Who's with me? Are you with me? If you need some help in the titty department And you drive a Honda Fit Then forget those stupid headlight eyelashes And a strap on some car tits Car tits come in four races in sizes A through double G Never play with car tits while driving Careful to construction zones or while cold or around small children Illegal in Sierra Leone Choking hazards may apply And a strap on some car tits No checks, money orders, or CODs Jingle bars, jingle bars Truck notes have had their... <laughs>